Now what this vane displacement law it states. So according to this vane displacement law just we have discussed that if I just consider that your black body so if it is going to just emit or it is just going to absorb yeah. So now the thing is that if it is going to emit the radiations or if it is going to absorb the radiations of a particular wavelength it does not mean like that. So let us say there are 100 radiations fall on this your black body. So out of 100 radiations so you can say that out of 100 radiations so the 80 radiations lies in a one particular range yeah, which is very close and the 20 radiations are quite different. So that means there is a maximum absorption for those your 80 radiations of a particular wavelength yeah, and 20 radiations are quite different. So that means it is going to absorb or it is going to radiate a particular your that is nothing but your radiations of a particular wavelength. So again we have to just find out that so the relation between the temperature and that of your wavelength. So according to this what it states that if you just observe this graph carefully so we can say that at a particular temperature now let us say initially it is 1 to 5 0 so then definitely again that energy yeah so the energy radiated is nothing but it is not same for all the part all the wavelength it is maximum for a particular wavelength yeah so let us say at this 1 to 5 0 Kelvin so the free, that is radiations of a particular wavelength yeah around this between 2 to 3 is nothing but your maximum yeah then what I am going to do I am just going to increase that temperature. So if I increase that temperature then the energy radiated by that black body in that a particular frequency yeah so a particular frequency band or particular wavelength is going to decrease now you can say that the wavelength is going to decrease if I increase the temperature. If I increase the temperature you can say the wavelength is now going to decrease again further I increase the temperature the wavelength further decreased. So that means the maximum radiations of a particular wavelength is going to decrease if I increase the temperature for that black body. So that is what your this wind displacement law states. So we can say that so this lambda is inversely proportional to temperature. And then simple you can say that so this lambda t is constant that lambda 1 t1 is equals to lambda 2 t2. So this is how we can write it down this your wind displacement law. So obviously we know that so the body the black body who is going to absorb almost that is all the radiations on it. So it is going to emit also maximum. So the that energy is emitted is also maximum. So what we have just seen that so the energy is emitted for a particular wavelength yeah so it goes on reducing if I increase the temperature of that body. So that is what is your this is nothing but what we called it as a wind displacement law over here. Mm -hmm.